Hey what's up everyone, so today I have a pair of true wireless earbuds that come with a ton of features but still fall into that budget range. What's up guys, my name is Johnny and today we're going to be talking about the Pamu Slide Mini. It's a pair of true wireless earbuds that offer you a ton of premium features like wireless charging and touch features but still won't break the bank when you go to buy them. Before we get started, I do want to say that these earbuds were sent to me so I can give you my unbiased, unfiltered thoughts of their product. Alright, so when you pick up the Pamu Slide Mini, here's what you get in the box. You get the earbuds themselves, you get the charging case, you get a charging cord, you get the manual, you get six ear tips so you can make sure you find the perfect fit, and you get a little carrying case so you can put the earbuds and the charging case in the little bag. All right, so the Pumbo Slide Mini case is a very smooth black case with the logo on top. It's a clamshell type, so when you open it up, the earbuds will lay flat inside. It's pretty small, pretty lightweight, and it fits into your pocket, and it slides into your pocket pretty easily. My only gripe is, it's a little slick, so if you're not careful, it can slip out of your hands. Like I said, the earbuds lay flat inside the case, but there's one difference that I wasn't used to. The left earbud sits on the right side, and the right earbud sits on the left side. So it's a little bit backwards for what I'm used to seeing. On the front of the case, you're going to find three LEDs, and that's going to tell you how much charge you have left in the case. You can figure it out by taking earbuds out and putting them back in, or by throwing it on the charger. The LEDs will light up, and that'll tell you how much charge you have left in the case. Now, if you want to find out how much you have left in your earbuds, you can go to your phone for that because it'll tell you the percentage. On the back is the charging port. It is Type-C, so you don't have to worry about looking for that old micro USB cord. You can use your Type-C charging cord. Uh, that you have lying around the house. So I like to do a little soft drop test to see if the earbuds are gonna stay inside the case. In the past, a lot of the earbuds that I've tried out will fly out and go across the room. With these, five out of the six times that I dropped them from my waist height, they stayed inside the case. All right, so the earbuds themselves are a stem design. They're very small, very lightweight. They have a rubber sleeve on them so you can grip them really easily. And they have an oval shaped earbud tip to insert into your ear. These are much smaller than most of the stem type true wireless earbuds that you find on the market. Now these earbuds do fit snug in your ear, but what I found is that even if I had the perfect ear tip, it still didn't have great passive isolation. So I could still hear a lot of stuff from the outside when the music wasn't playing. Maybe it's just me and maybe I just didn't fit it in my ear correctly, but I haven't had this issue with most other true wireless earbuds. Now I talked about some premium features. One of them is touch control. So you basically have full touch control with these earbuds. The only thing you don't have is track back. So you have track forward, volume up, volume down. You can answer calls, hang up calls, and you can pause and play. Now each earbud has two microphones on it so it can do noise reduction when you make calls. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. And the last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to the earbud structure is the fact that it's IPX6. So it pretty much can handle water and splashes from any direction and any amount, but you can't submerge these in water. So if you're someone who sweats a lot or gets caught in the rain, you're gonna be perfectly fine with these earbuds. So the charging case has a 400 milliamp battery, which would give you 30 hours of total playtime with these earbuds. Each earbud themselves gives you 10 hours of playtime. And if you run out of battery, you can do a five minute quick charge and get an hour worth of playback. And if you don't use your earbuds for quite a while, it will last you 30 days on standby time. One of the other premium features it has is wireless charging. So you don't need that Type-C cord, you can just toss it on a wireless Qi charger. So these earbuds use Bluetooth 5.0, so they have the latest Bluetooth technology. They also use the aptX audio codec to get you the highest quality of audio sound. I tested it with YouTube, I didn't find any lags while I was watching videos, and I didn't have any dropped connections or anything like that. I could get over 45 feet away from my device with these and still be able to have good, clear sound. One of the downsides to these earbuds is you can't use the right earbud by itself. So the left earbud is the master earbud and it will connect the two and it'll also play by itself. But like I said, you can't use the right one by itself. So like I said earlier, it does have dual mics on each earbud to give you that noise reduction during calls. Right now I'll play a little mic test so you can hear what the call quality sounds like. This is a microphone test for the Pamu Slide Minis to see how they sound in an empty room with no noise around. This is the test of the Pamu Slide Minis with background noise. You can see how clear my voice comes through when there's noise all around me. This is a microphone test for the Pamu Slide Mini wind blowing around me and just down in the car. Now I felt that they weren't the best at call quality. It was a little distant and a little more quiet than I anticipated. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the call quality on the Pamu Slide Minis. 
All right, so now down to the sound. So for being so tiny, they actually sound really good. I do have one gripe with the sound though. It doesn't get as loud as I'd like it to. So I would need like two or three more ticks on it for the volume so I can really be able to turn it up loud. I can listen to these at max volume and not have any issues with my ears. Now on their website, they do say that it has massive bass, but I find these to be kind of in the mid range when it comes to bass. They're not super bass heavy, but they also aren't bass lacking. So they sound good when it comes to bass. They're not gonna be the most bassy earbuds that you come across. The mids and the lows are really good too. Overall, the sound is really good on these earbuds. At the time of this recording, you can get them for less than $60. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description if you wanna check them out. For that price, they have really good sound. If this review was helpful, please hit the like button. And remember, if you wanna learn more about awesome technology and cool gadgets, then hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna see more of my videos, check out these right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.